So I'm guessing that you guys have been wondering where I've been. And the truth to that is, as you can see, I'm in a new space. And I'm recording this on a laptop because I don't have all my other stuff. So that's what we're doing is that we're we're making videos uh, not about Deep Woken and not about, yeah, Deep Woken <laughs> um, because I don't have my PC. And I'm working on that. Um, it's going to take some time. But yeah, that's where I am now. Uh, you're probably wondering what's been going on the past month, why I haven't posted. Uh, it's because I moved. <laughs> so there's that. I started school in January, and I know that I posted in January and in February. However, the big but to that is, uh, well... I had stuff ready and uh, right now I'm working on a video I'm trying my best but here we are so just bear with me uh, stick to the program you know how it is but um yeah I will try my best to get back on top of it and I'm, I'm working on it I promise um, if you guys have things that you want me to talk about I'll talk about them just put them in the comments happily <laughs> happily um, shoot some ideas down in the comments definitely okay with that also um do what you got to do anyways um enjoy this video as many of you know i'm an anime fan what if that wasn't evident with the shit show of a video i made a while ago i don't know what will make it so holy fish paste it's a guy while a majority of my life has been watching one piece or naruto something else has come about that i've taken a lot of interest in and that's sword art online <laughs> wrong anime Today, we're going to talk about the Manwa solo leveling. This is your warning, spoilers are ahead. We are going to cover the entire story, but I'm going to explain it very poorly. We are first introduced to our weak-ass protagonist, and his name is Kirito. Of <laughs> whoops, I mean Sung Jin Woo. Sung Jin Woo is this world's version of a nobody fairy tale guild member. In this world, these mercs for hire are called hunters. Hunters are measured E through S, and even a step above that, We'll talk about that later. Sung Jun Woo is going into a gate, which is a plot device that works like the doors from Monsters, Inc., allowing the characters to enter into another world and fight these monsters. However, sometimes the monsters pull a sexy Uno reverse card and come out to visit the humans. Our protagonist is an e rank hunter, always getting hurt and just being a complete pain in the ass to the other party members. Good thing they always have a healer to bail them out, or otherwise we wouldn't have a story. The gates are also measured the same way as the hunters, and our boy's first dungeon is a D rank gate, which means it should be sort of easy. A little bit of exposition is in order here. Sung Jin Woo, even though he blows absolute donkey ass at being the hunter, he has to be one to support his mother's treatment because she's sick and in the hospital because of the some lame ass magic thing that makes her sick to magic. Anyway, enough of the sob story. We see Sung Jin Poo go into the dungeon and get absolutely whooped off page because he is a weak baby man. We see him getting healed by Ju Hee. The group of low ranking hunters finish with what they are doing inside the first dungeon and think to themselves, huh, well, it hasn't closed yet, so let's go this way which then leads them to finding a large set of doors, and like a bunch of idiots, they decide it's a good idea to go in, even though they know they probably should report it. And so they go inside, and then this happens. <laughs> Dungden Soup figures out the rules to the game, and eventually they reach the final part. Everyone is supposed to stay in a ring for a non-specified amount of time. However, everyone fucking runs and leaves him to die. <laughs> As a last attempt to be a baller, he fights against the stone knights in the room and... Damn, he really just fucking died. 
Well, anyway, video over. Remember to like and sub. Bye-bye. Psych, bitch. There's a reason there are 250 chapters. Liar, liar. Plants for hire. So let's get the fuck out of the chapter 10. Real quick, I would like to take the time to say thank you to uh, Linuber, uh, Linuber, whatever your name is, sorry. His video actually gave me this idea, so go watch his really, really detailed full recap. Now, back to my shit show. After Sung Jun Woo's supposed death, he wakes up. Oh man, maybe it was just a dream, but why do I remember every little detail? And this idiot really thinks like every anime character who wakes up in an isekai. Like, come on! After speaking with the men in black, it turns out homie is still weak as fuck. We skip to the middle of the night and Sung Jun Woo was sleeping because, you know, it's fucking nighttime. Then the system transfers him into a because he didn't uphold his new training routine. He is now being chased by the sandworm from Dune. After four hours, he's finally free and learns that he should do what the system wants him to do. This motherfucker starts working out religiously, and when he, his day comes to be discharged from the hospital, all the nurses fall in love. Give me your number, baby. And his response to this is, okay, it will be good to get my test back. Sung Jin Woo, you moron, she was like, fuck. <laughs> this man is now super duper strong. I'm bringing this up now because I forgot to mention that this man went into a summonable dungeon and got his ass handed to him again. But at the last minute, he turns up and starts busting the monster's asses. Once he finishes with the Swanable Dungeon, there are some hunters struggling to fight a D rank monster that escaped from a gate. And for Sung Jung Woo, he just. Damn! As I stated before, Homie is now strong as fuck. But Sung Jung Woo isn't exactly sure how strong he is. So he goes to a low rank dungeon with like eight other people and a really important character named Yo Jin Ho. This man is the son of a rich man, so he has really expensive things. They go into a dungeon and immediately get the JJK treatment. However, the group comes out on top with minor injuries. The enemies they fought were giant ants, and the party notices that some of the ants have chunks taken out of them, like something had been eating them, which yes, is the case. But before we get to that, we have to talk about the rest of the party. Sung Jin Woo notices that the entire vibe has changed. The rest of the party, other than Jin Ho, has completely changed their demeanor, but they travel on. They finally reach the boss room, and there are tons of mana crystals. So the extras in the party are like, we need to get the tools to mine these. Make sure the monster doesn't wake up, low rank hunters. As they leave, they blow up the exit. Little do they know, Sung Jin Woo was crazy with the blade, and he kills the boss. The dudes come back and are like, ain't no way Jin Ho is that strong, bro. And then Jin Woo gets a notification that tells him he has to kill the others. If he doesn't, the system will kill him. So he just pops off and slays all of them. After that, Jin Ho asks Jin Woo to join him so they can talk. So after Sung Jin Woo goes full ninja on those backstabbing wannabes, Yo Jin Ho then slides into Jin Woo's DMs with the proposition. Let's team up, he says, hoping some of that main character glow up rubs off on him. And guess what? Jin Hu, now part-time Grim Reaper, is like, nah, I ain't doing that. And Jin Ho is like, why not? And then Sung Jin Woo, who is leaving at this point, Jin Ho just drops the fucking, like, entirety of his life story on him. And so, after using Tak no Jutsu on Sung Jin Woo, he decides, man, fuck it, but it can only be me and you in the dungeon. After all, every hero needs a sidekick with deep pockets. But hold up, it's not all Dungeons and Dragons for Jin Woo. He's got bigger fish to fry. Holy fish paste! Or should I say, ants to squash. Remember those giant ants? Well, they're not just any picnic crashers. 
They're from Jeju Island, where the biggest, baddest ant of them all has been cooking up some trouble. And Jin Woo, being Jin Woo, decides it's time for the Verminator. You've just been verminated. Fast forward through some epic battles, heartbreaks, and whole lot of leveling up, Jin Woo becomes the head honcho of his own guild. Well, sort of. I mean, he's the face, but like, Jin Ho is technically in charge. But let's be real, it's more like a one-man army with Jin Ho as a cheerleader. Together, they dive into dungeons making bank while Jin Woo's fame skyrockets like a conspiracy theorist's heartbeat at a UFO sighting. After beating the asses of what's called the Monarchs, we realize that our boy Sung Jin Woo is the Shadow Monarch, so he puts everybody in their place, like absolutely kicks their ass, and then jumps to a different timeline because he's like, well, I'm the only one with powers and this timeline can't exist, so womp womp. As our tale nears its end, Sung Jin Woo goes from zero to hero, from E rank to, is there a letter higher than S? Okay. He's faced gods, monsters, and the scariest of them all, public opinion. And through it all, he remains stoic, slightly clueless. He's the hero we've grown to love. His final battles redefine what it means to be overpowered, as he slaps around enemies like he's flipping burgers at a summer cookout. And then, like, the last chapter is, like, his son, uh, oh yeah. By the way, he gets married and has a kid. I should have mentioned that, but I was too lazy to write it. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, there you have it. The legend of Sung Jin Woo, told with the finesse of a drunk history lesson. From weakling to world beater, his story is a reminder that even the lowest among us can rise to unimaginable heights, especially if you've got a magical system doing half the work. So now you might be asking, so what's the moral of the story? Well, if you find yourself in a deadly dungeon, just hope you get a magical system upgrade. Oh, and maybe don't trust anyone too quickly especially if they're eager to venture into unexplored monster filled gates. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this roller coaster recap of solo leveling, and subscribe for more chaotic summaries of your favorite anime and manhwa. Until next time, keep leveling up, and maybe check under your bed for any rogue gates. Peace out.